on something, you put your intent into the candle, right? Because before when you're doing candle magic, you have to put your intent into the candle. And we're like, the only time you should be talking in your meditation, you feel me, is if you're doing some form of magic. Other than that, you feel me? Or you're searching. Because you could talk when you're searching, like, if you go within yourself and you're searching. So you ask yourself a question. And then you still ain't talking no more. You ask the question. You, you meditate. You tell yourself. You say, self. You say, just like this in meditation. You're like, hey, self. I want to know what's going to happen with this situation, self. And then you just shut the fuck up from there. No need to think again. Just understand, man. You a multi-dimensional being on all levels. So you ask once you present that question, and you ain't even presenting it. Any question that comes out, it's your soul presenting that question. So once you present it, but you still say it self, like you would say it to a person, hey God, like you would ask me, hey God, man, how you feel about this dream I had? Nigga, ask self that. You can ask your soul that you can be like, self. I had this dream last night, and I wonder what it meant. And just close your eyes and just sit there, man. Don't think. Don't say nothing. Just be. Don't think. Just be. After you ask the question, don't think. Just be. Don't think. Just be. And I promise you, if you once you get into the habit of doing that, your soul is going to answer that shit for you. Clearest voice ever. You ain't got a man shit come through so clear, nigga. Damn. Oh, okay. Now, you could do that with anything. Like Once you get to that, okay, now let me do it with this. Hey, self. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Now, meditate on it. Just be just quiet. No thoughts, no nothing. Just just be. You know, how not to think? What you mean? Thoughts going to flow through you. Just be. See, when you just sit there and just be, and don't try to think, you're still going to have thoughts flow. But check this out. That's when you're going to realize that all your thoughts that come into you don't even come from you because you're just being. So you're able to sit back and just watch all these thoughts flow across your, across your desk. Like, hold on, that ain't even my thought. That ain't my thought. Where the fuck that thought come from? But it, so then you can see that we all connected. And you can see like, oh, okay. So a lot of these thoughts that I'm projecting are not even my thoughts. So where they coming from? You feel me? Some of these thoughts are flowing from individuals close to you. Some of these thoughts are spirit guides trying to talk to you. Some of these, some of these, some of these thoughts are the angelic realms trying to talk to you. Because the angelic realm and the archangels is completely different from your spirit guides and your forest nymphs. Right? All different beings and your cherubim and your seraphims and, 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 and your orishas. These are all different deities. These are all different deities. When you talk about the, the kingdom of the astral realms, it's so many different species, man. So many different. That's why you don't want to you don't want to practice magic without knowing what the fuck you're doing. Because you can let any entity into you. You can let any entity into you. You know what I'm saying? You can let an entity in so quick. You know what I'm saying? So quick. You know, and that's what makes magic dangerous because it's the the lack of not being familiar with the forces that exist outside of this physical realm. This physical realm ain't shit. I'm telling you, this shit is this is nothing. This is nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like you got so many different forces. So many different races. Of spiritual deities and entities and beings. And like, I had to tell somebody asked about the Orishas. And I was telling them about that. I'm like, man, listen, the Orishas are not. They are not archangels. Because somebody like that, ain't the Orishas just like the saints is in religion? No, the fuck they are not. Boy, fuck them saints, nigga. You feel me? Saints ain't did shit. But put on the white ass robes they got them in. Nigga, all the saints are white anyway. Nigga, all of them, nigga. Saint Benedict, nigga, the whole, the whole goddamn it, cavalry of they ass. They, the Orishas ain't no motherfucking saints. Nigga, they, they, they the furthest thing from saints. The Orishas are actual fucking gods and goddesses that once lived in the flesh like you. So the Orishas actually lived here before. Whereas you got archangels that ain't never lived here. You got Anunnaki 
that ain't never been here. They've been watching from the outside. All right. Whereas the old reaches actually lived here. They walked in the physical realm before. But when they was in the physical, they were so advanced spiritually that when they transcended, they took on the vibration of Orisha, which is a medium between this physical world and the spiritual world. So the Orishas are mediums. That's why they tell you to start with Papa Legua and you got to want to go through him. So that, yeah, like they actually live. That's why they got, if you go read their stories and shit, you see all type of crazy shit too in their stories, like the imperfections, we should say, the imperfections. You know what I'm saying? They were actually they actually walked in the flesh before, all of them did. So, and it's thousands of Orishas. You know what I'm saying? They limit you to just seven, right? And then they'll tell you it's four hundred plus one. But it's thousands of Orishas. Hell, you could become an Orisha if you wish to be that. If you wish to act as a as a as a as a medium between the spiritual realm and the physical realm, if you attain that high level while in the physical, you graduate to that next level and you can do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a whole. It's a chain of command to the spiritual realm and the astral realms and how it works. You know what I'm saying? For real. But look, y'all, I'm finna go on the website. We finna start this lecture, man. Peace to the gods and gods of the planet. Now we ride. One.